Hello, welcome. My name is Kay Mattingly and I am the visual arts teacher at Montessori Academy and I want to welcome you all to our annual spring art show. The art is from January to April and it consists of kindergarten art through high school and both my after school clubs. So I'd like you to join me to look at our kindergarten work. This artwork was inspired by Faith Ringel. During February, the month of Black History Month, we learned about Faith Ringel. She is a true African-American treasure. Uh, she was most famous for her story quilts. And her story was that she loved to fly magically over the Washington Bridge, the George Washington Bridge in New York City. And so our children, our kindergartners, drew the city of Nashville in white oil pastel and drew themselves flying over the Korean War Memorial Bridge, our very own, and they used colored paper to make it look like a quilt. Beautifully done. And let's move on to our lower elementary students. We're still working on our elements of art, elements of art. And this is form. They had a few parameters. They had to build a gnome. They had to build a house and a pet. And a pet. And it had to be in a theme. So you'll see underwater themes, surfing themes, movie themes, dance themes. We have a Star Wars Stormtrooper. We have a, a, a surfer. And of course, Harry Potter and Moana. Lovely, lovely. We have a few more over here. <laughs> we have a, a, a gnome that's in Africa with a rhinoceros, a llama, eagles, and the Mandalorian with baby Yoda. Isn't that wonderful? And if you notice on the tables in front of the gnomes are our lovely kindergartner snakes. They're mo made with green foam, chalk, and pipe cleaners. Beautifully done, beautifully done. Here's some more gnomes. We have 58 for second and third level students. We have bees and beehives, lots of dogs, lots of snakes. And the pets had to be part of their theme, part of their theme. A farmer with a yellow cow. <laughs> and at the bottom floor, we have some beautiful horses. Each one is beautiful. Our mermaids, our farmers, kitty cats, and princesses. Great job, great job. All right, all right. So we wanna continue learning about the elements of art. And this wall is a history of all their hard work. This heart is positive and negative space. On one side, the heart is a positive space. On the other, it's negative space. And they did a beautiful job. Some of them choose to, chose to do butterflies. And if you notice along the bottom is a hand. And the hand is done with warm colors. This is part of our color theory. Cool colors recede in the background and warm colors come forward. So it gives you the illusion of space, the illusion of space between the hand and the background. And as he pans up, you'll see our beautiful mountainscapes, our beautiful mountainscapes. And this is where we learned about foreground, middle ground, background, and they learned about their complementary colors. Our complementary colors were so important with color theory because together they neutralize each other, but next to each other they make everything vibrant and alive. And around our mountain is uh, another space lesson where we had to use size change to show distance in a two-dimensional work. The larger the balloon, the closer it is to you. Also, they used their knowledge of foreground, middle ground, background. They did a beautiful job. 
All right, so we're gonna come over here. And this next one is our um, another space idea, which is overlapping. They had to learn how to overlap in a two-dimensional artistic form. And so we chose a snake wrapped around a tree. They did a beautiful job. And coming up on this wall, these are our middle school students. This art was inspired by the work of Marc Chagall. Chagall said, I have always painted pictures where human love floods my colors. So I love the fact that these students were encouraged to use different colors and do things upside down, overlapping, and a world that is different than what they're used to. It's pretty cool, they did such a great job. You can see uh, musical instruments, you can see downtown Nashville, you can see the animals they love. All of this is pretty personal symbolism for the student. All right, another thing that our middle school had to do was create a tessellation. Now tessellation is inspired by M.C. Escher it is when a shape is repeated over and over again, covering a plane without any gaps or overlap. So they created this shape and had to look at it really hard to decide what it could possibly be. And that's our middle school students. We'll come in through the hallway. All right, on this is my art club wall. We had a different perspective. This is a keyhole perspective, and this is a collage, and this is photo light paper where we went and collected different flowers and set them on this photo paper, and the sun printed that beautiful picture and they made the vase. And here we're um, talking about um, value and pencil drawing. They had to grid a smaller picture of a deer and make it large to fit. These beautiful, beautiful deers came out so well. All right. Along the bottom is another art element for our lower elementary. This is a texture lesson. They had to be able to make fur and grass. Fur and grass for those two different textures. Beautifully done in oil pastel. Now this is our upper elementary, fourth, fifth, and sixth level. A new year is always an exciting time to create an artwork for inspiring them. And I wanted to inspire them to look for this next year, to look forward to this next year with hope. So they did a collage as part of their artwork. And in the collage, they had to put things that they loved and wanted to do in the next year. They also had to do a crayon rubbing with their favorite color. They had to do a Celtic knot. And they had to do a Zentangle, a Zentangle, um, they turned out beautifully done, a Zentangle. Fourth, fifth, and sixth level did all those. 2021. <laughs> and we're moving over to our high school. I have three high school students who enjoy independent study class. They were able to choose what they wanted to study they were able to choose their projects and they really got um, a chance to do what they really wanted to do in art. Our first is Alana Hicks. She chose jewelry making. This here is a stone, a soapstone carving. She loves canoeing, so this is her 
soapstone <laughs> uh, canoe. And she is wearing her um, crystal that she had and she learned how to do wire wrapping. And here is a close up of the wire wrapping that she learned to do fit around her crystal. And she did these beautiful clasps. She made those as part of that. And the next student is Yusuf Akafaji, and he is my pho photography student. He also um, did a photostat paper, which turned out to be really beautiful. This was a study um, in red. This was a study in object, and it just happened to be both red. <laughs> and uh, this was an actual study for red, the color red. Our third high school student is Lorian Hicks, and she chose landscape painting. Landscape painting. This is based on a Kandinsky with bright colors, big shapes. This is another keyhole drawing, and this is her completed work of the ocean. She took this picture that's at the bottom and broke it into two smaller um, areas to create the other two paintings, but they all go together and form a family group. Back in the corner, we continue with our elements of art. Um, this is one point perspective. They had to draw a mountain with a road coming to it to show linear perspective. Some chose to do houses and some didn't. It was all good. And these beautiful pieces over here is by After School Lower Elementary Art Club. We made these beautiful marble papers and painted papers and we cut them out to make these beautiful owls. Beautiful owls. We have just a few more things to go over. <laughs> All right, so we're back in our center and I want you to look at the beautiful sculptures. These are done by our fourth, fifth, and sixth grade level, our upper elementary. And they are based on Alberto Giacometti. And they had to add a heart. Uh, they had to add a heart. They did a beautiful job. Some added hair. Some were hugging the hearts, holding the hearts. but it was based on The Walking Man for, for Geo, from Geocometti. Well, we have one more group of photographs to show you um, from our high school student, um, Yusuf. He had to make um, the rainbow red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Beautifully done, beautifully photographed. And our, um, we have two more pieces. This is our um, upper elementary after school art club. These fish eyes are based on Georgia O'Keeffe's artwork where she thought people tend to overlook the smaller things. And she would usually do flowers and I found these fish eyes to be really beautiful. And so my upper elementary did these beautiful fish eyes. And they did these landscapes also in, in the vein of Kandinsky. Beautiful landscapes, bright colors, bold lines. Thank you so much for tuning in to the 2021 Montessori Spring Art Show. I want to thank you for all your hard work, and I want you to have a great summer. Keep on creating. Oh, I am so sorry. I got some more art to tell you about. Come on over. Here is my um, upper elementary. We were working on this piece. It's realism versus realism and symbolism. So they were having to 
use symbolism to draw out their most important things in their lives. So you'll have to guess what those things are. They did such a wonderful job. Just wonderful. Fourth, fifth, and sixth level. All right, we're gonna come over here and the high schoolers added too. This is Yusuf's work. He was doing some silhouette work, refraction, and he had to do a self-portrait. There's our Yusuf, did a great job. And come on over here for our middle school. This is plaster gauze, and they had to use their own face to build this sculpture or their own hand. This is Blue Warrior by Jaden, Ocean by Bella, Purple Cat by Rowan, Inside Out by Callie, Two Sided by Keaton, Purple Passion by Carrie, Gold Man by Ben, and Stick by Isaiah. We have a few more that we're able to hang up on the wall. This is down here at the bottom, Tiki by Braden. Vision Upgrade by James. And Ice Queen by Sydney. Very nicely done. And here's some more of our fourth, fifth, and sixth levels. I couldn't fit them all on the same wall. Realism versus realism and symbolism. Did a great job, great job. We're almost done, almost done. We had some more eyes put up. And photographs, Our Yusuf had to find letters out in the um, environment. So we have cow and two. And Lori and our landscape artist did a beautiful cow in her landscape. Well, I think I'm done. I think I'm finally done. Thank you again, and now you can go on creating.